What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Scuba Driver. My name is Steven. Today's a great day because we've got new car parts installed. If you guys remember one of my last videos, I talked about me losing my front lip on the way home from work one night. I hit something in the road, ended up running over my lip and destroyed it into a million pieces. But anyways, we got a new one in that big box back there. If you guys do like today's video, make sure you like it so I know that you like it and subscribe to my channel because we got plenty more content on the way. I know I've taken a few weeks off, but I'll get back to the videos, especially after the holiday season and my schedule's uh, opening up a little bit, but I'll explain that in another video. Anyways, let's uh, get the car out of the garage, get under it, and start with this lift. is because I'm not going to take my front bumper off to do this install. I'm going to do it the same way I did my last front lip. I'm going to keep the bumper on the car, mainly because it's a pain to get back on, even though I have the quick release clips. They still break and it doesn't line up all the way, right? So <laughs> we're going to keep it like that. But today we're going to do the Spec D tuning front lip. I really, really love the design of this lip. It's got the little winglets on the side. And then in the middle, it actually kind of angles up a little bit. So it won't be quite as low as my last one. If you guys remember last time I did a eBay front lip uh, on my car, I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. So that's why I didn't mind uh, that it got destroyed. It wasn't too expensive. I was having a really hard time deciding what I was gonna do this time. I knew it was either gonna be like a carbon fiber front lip or maybe a chassis mounted splitter, but I figured I'd give a cheaper front lip one more try. If I break it, it's not the end of the world. We'll see what we can do next time, make something a little stronger. I would just be very upset um, <laughs> in my financial situation if I destroyed a carbon fiber front lip, so I decided not to go with that option. This is a spec D tuning one though. It is a little bit more expensive than the last one I got, but still very, very inexpensive compared to some other options. And I've seen it on a few cars on Instagram uh, before and it looks really, really good. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this mocked up and we'll start putting it on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this mocked up onto the front bumper. But what I did is I took some pieces of some extra strength uh, Gorilla Tape same ones that I've used to put like louvers on the car. This isn't going to be the permanent solution, obviously, but this is just going to be the mock-up to make sure everything lines up nicely, see where I want to put it, and then we'll start drilling it onto the bumper. All right, so I scrapped the double-sided tape. That obviously wasn't strong enough. Uh, if you guys watch my videos enough, you know I just kind of figure things out as I go. But I've got it mocked up with a couple of uh, self-tapping screws here. By the way, this kit does come with, uh, I think it came with five of these uh, black screws. However, I went to Ace Hardware and I've got some more self-tapping screws over there. So I might end up hitting those at the end just for some extra security. But anyways, it's looking uh, pretty awesome now. Obviously, I got to hit it with some screws on the side. But what I have done so far is I've hit it with one screw right there on the end of the bumper. I've got one screw right here in the middle. Let's see if I can get under there. Right there. And then again, likewise on this side got one more screw right there so what I'm gonna do is I'll start hitting it with a few more screws in the middle and see if it lines up We got it on there and uh just from what i can tell right now without putting the car back on the ground it is looking super super sick i love like how low profile it is but also love the like angle in the middle and uh it lined up pretty much perfectly it took me a little while longer and i had to use a lot more screws i'll show you guys it doesn't look good under there but there are screws all over it the main reason being is uh when i got under there i actually found that there was a little bit more damage on my bumper than i originally thought when I hit the object in the road, it looked like it might have bent my bumper down a little bit. So getting some of the screws in there was a little tricky. So I had to use a little bit longer ones to kind of pull the bumper or uh, pull the lip closer to the bumper rather. But anyways, with all that being said, uh, it was a very, very easy install. Just, uh, you know, line it up, make sure it fits your car. This is for the uh, FRS bumper. I'm not sure if it'll fit a BRZ bumper. Um, the last lip I actually had from eBay was a BRZ front lip. Uh, it didn't fit perfectly, but I actually liked the way the old one fit, even though it wasn't on there. 
uh, exactly how it's supposed to be. It actually gave it a little bit more of an aggressive look, but this one, the winglets on the side, I really, really like it. But anyways, let's uh, get the car off the jack and take it out in the sun and check it out. Well, we drove the car a few minutes and the lip didn't fall off. So in my opinion, that's a win. Anyways, it's looking really, really good. I'm so glad I got another lip back on there. The car just did not feel complete without it, to be honest with you. I think it looks really good, especially for the price that I paid. I'll make sure to link this one in the description below, but I just really like the angles on it. You guys got to let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you like this front lip? Should I have gone with a different option? I'm still thinking, uh, you know, maybe one day we'll do the uh, chassis mounted splitter on there. Uh, me and Kevin might be able to fab one up, put that on there maybe get some more aggressive side skirts. I like the little winglets on the lip here. And I know I've seen some side skirts that have the little winglets on there. So if you guys know what those are, let me know in the comments below and uh, I might pick some of those up if they aren't too expensive. But yeah, man, the car is looking complete again. Let's, uh, let's pop the doors open. You know, it's not a scuba driver video. If we don't get the Lambo doors up, gotta get that perfect shot. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, now we're talking. Much better. But there we have it. Yep, the install is complete. It was a very simple one. If you guys do like that lip, like I said, I'll have it linked in the description below. It's the Spec D tuning front lip for the Scion FRS. Uh, like I said, you might need to do a little research if you're thinking about putting on a BRZ, since I know those bumpers are a little different, but who knows, it might fit on there. But anyways, I hope you guys did like today's video. If you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'm hoping to have some videos between now and the end of the year. Might have some car shows at, after Christmas time, but if not, I will see you guys in the new year. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I'm on TikTok now, so you might want to go follow me on there too if you want some extra content. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you did like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.